The sidewalk in front of City Hall is the new home of Occupy Wilmington. Protesters say despite the construction crews, cold weather and protest against their protesting, they're here to stay until they see some change. People and even the construction workers have been really nice and the movie set was really nice, but uh, it's not that comfortable sleeping on the sidewalk, but they won't let us sleep on the lawn, so we'll deal with it. Ethan Johnson is occupying Wilmington. He said a few rude gestures have been thrown at the Third Street camp, but they mostly get waves, honks, and curious passersby like Janice Neal. Neal said she's not officially part of the movement, but it caught her attention on the sidewalk, and she agrees with the message. But the dedication, not so much. I didn't know they were sleeping here, so, um, well, I guess if that's what they have to do, they just have to do it. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't sleep here. I would come and protest, but I wouldn't do the sleeping part. When asked about violence at other occupations, Johnson said those incidents are just hiccups that will be worked out. You can't control everybody. You can try to have general guidelines like we do. We don't allow alcohol, we don't allow drugs, but you can't really tell somebody, no, you can't come in here. While a lot of people just ignore the encampment, Neil said it's time people pay attention. We are poor people and we are really struggling and here you got these people making all this money and we need some help. And to the common comment of go get a job, Johnson says, I got a job. I don't know. This is what I choose to do with my days off. He works on a vineyard in Bladen County, hoping the fruits of this labor will pay off. In Wilmington, Asha DeVay, WWAY News Channel 3.